In our special report today, the rapidly expanding Port of Brownsville is a vital economic engine for the Rio Grande Valley. But as Richard Moore shows us, the bustling port is also a favorite location for some local anglers. If you want to catch a tropical snook in Texas, the Lower Laguna Madre is the place to go. And while anglers are potentially able to snag one anywhere in the bay, the prime locale is the bustling port of Brownsville. On this wintry day, Eric Zapulveda is hooking up on just about every cast in one of his favorite spots in the port. You have a really good snook population, um, you know, um, I love fishing for snook. While common in the estuaries of Mexico and Central America, the tropical snook barely edges into Texas. Sleek and strong, shimmering with a silvery green hue, they sport a distinctive black lateral stripe that runs from just behind the gills to the tail. They grow upwards of four feet, and the state record is a 57 and a half pounder, caught in 1937 by Lewis Rollett in the surf off Padre Island. While snook appear to be currently thriving in South Texas waters, their numbers pale in comparison to the huge commercial catches of yesteryear. In 1929, commercial landings of snook in Port Isabel exceeded 200,000 pounds. It was not until 1987 that snook finally received game fish status, and in 1996, strict regulations went into effect, limiting anglers to one snook per person per day, with the slot limit size between 24 and 28 inches. I mean, I don't kill any snook, you know, and, and I preach that to either clients that I have or anybody else I know. To, you know, to keep this fishery going like that and keep it healthy. Fishing at the Port of Brownsville is a privilege and subject to restrictions. Bank fishing is not allowed, and boats must steer clear of commercial traffic and are not allowed to tie off. I think, you know, we're very lucky to have this port. You know. As the Port of Brownsville continues its rapid expansion, including current site work on a proposed liquefied natural gas terminal, the hope among anglers is that the waterway will remain unpolluted and open to fishing. With your Outdoor Report, I'm Richard Moore. You should hold this one.